Hello cuties and welcome to our first episode of TBR Cluedo in 2023! If you don't know, TBR Cluedo is my TBR game. I feel like we've got off to a quick start here. <laughs> this is my TBR game that helps me pick what I read. It's themed off of Super Cluedo and I cannot wait for the first month of the year. I am so excited. I love a new year. I've told this many times and I'm just so excited for the new energy, new TBR Cluedo energy, new vibes. I'm so excited. I feel like we're gonna have a great TBR. Now for the first time ever, I do have a TBR Cluedo resolution. <laughs> For the year. I feel like if I'm a bit nervous, a bit nervous wow. energy, it's because usually at this point in the filming, wow. I know some of what I'm reading, right? <laughs> when I'm coming to speak to you, I've done the roles previously, but I really don't know a lot of what I'm reading right now. So I'll leave that up to you to figure out why. Yes, this yes. is a concern and a worry. <laughs> because before we get into the video, I want to say a big thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Book of the Month. So Book of the Month is a super popular and fast growing online book service for readers. I love Book of the Month. You've heard me speak about them many times. I think Book of the Month are so cool. They scour online for all the new releases that are coming out and pick a selection of what they think are the most exciting, new and emerging authors, authors they've had on before. I think they do a great job of uplifting authors, new and emerging authors who are starting out in their career. You know, Book of the Month is a great platform for them. And I feel like Book of the Month use their platform really wisely the, and they give you a great selection. You don't need to do the like, work of looking through what all the new releases are. They give you a great selection of stuff that's coming out that month for you to choose from. Book of the Month is also risk-free, so if you get the selection, none of them interest you that month, that's fine. You don't have to pay, you can just skip a month. And Book of the Month have the best price for new release hardcover fiction. You can use a my code made with books to get your first book for only $9.99. I do want to say some of you ask in the comments, they are currently only shipping to US and Canada, but if you are in the US or Canada, I would 100% recommend, like go get your hands in it, use the code, treat yourself, it's new year, new us. <laughs> treat yourself to a little bookish gift for yourself. <laughs> So my two picks for January are ones that I'm really excited about. First is Age of Vice by Deepti Kapoor. I saw this on so many lists towards the end of last year, beginning of this year of mysteries, murder mysteries, thrillers that are coming out this year that you gotta keep your eyes out for. So I kept my eye out for it and I saw it and I said, you're coming home with me. <laughs> I think this is about a car crash that kills uh, five people. And this is set in India and it's about a rich, powerful family there, I think. So I'm really excited. I've heard so many good things. Oh, I love, look at the, woo, look at the spine into the back. That is so cool. I love it, very excited. And I also picked What Lies in the Woods by Kate Alice Marshall. I've never read anything by Kate Alice Marshall, but I really want to. I really want to read These Fleeting Shadows, which was her book last year. This book is about these friends who were attacked in the woods. They identified a man who was supposedly the man who tried to kill them, but it says that they were lying. And for decades, they've kept a secret. So yeah, super duper excited for this one as well. So yeah, make sure you check out Book of the Month and use my code MegWithBurks for your first book for only $9.99. Okay, so TBR Kudo time. I said, listen, <laughs> I said that I have a TBR Kudo resolution and I don't know what a lot of the books I'm currently reading are, is because I realized, I was doing a little bit of reflection on TBR Kudo and I realized I don't often pick the murder weapon. So in TBR Kudo, you might not know this if <laughs> you've only been watching me recently. But there's the books which have prompts on and they are constrained to the genre of that room. And then there's some super prompts which are the little like murder weapons, like the candlestick, the dagger, that have these super prompts to them that are a bit more, you know, <laughs> a bit more extravagant. They are not constrained to the genre of the room. And I realized I barely ever do them. This is not conscious. I think I just kind of forgot that they're there. <laughs> So my resolution for TBR Cluedo this year is just to start using those more. I'm not setting like a number. <laughs> I don't know what that number would be, but I just want to try and use them more and give more of my fate into TBR Cluedo's hands. So today, spoiler alert, I may be using a lot of those weapons and we're going to have a lot of fun activities happening that help me pick my TBR. <gasps> so excited. <laughs> So shall we just begin? Let's get into roll one. I am incredibly nervous. <laughs> okay, time for roll number one. Person number seven, which is brown up here in mystery. Let's see how many we roll. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we got a five and a one. 
Let's go to the magnifying glass if we can. One, two, three, four, five, perfect. So that is something that's been recommended by the viewer. Roll one is the magnifying glass, which is a book recommended by the viewer. So how this works is that every year I do the all my unread books on my TBR video where I hold them all up and I get you guys to say in the comments books that you liked or disliked. There's two different prompts that I can get if it's you liked a book or disliked a book. And so what I have to do right now is I have to go to that video's comments, randomly sort the comments, and read the book from the first comment. I'm so nervous. This is why actually maybe I never pick these because subconsciously I don't like the inner turmoil that it gives me. I might not go back in. I'm gonna go home actually. Okay, so I'm just gonna sort the comments randomly and the first comment that comes up I have to read a book. So this is gonna be, it has to be a book that someone liked. So if it's a disliked one, we'll just re- Resort the comments. Okay. Oh my god, there's a lot of comments. 495 comments. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, what's it gonna be? Okay, interesting. So I have already read The Twyford Code. Lindsay, you were right. I did love The Twyford Code. I've read that already, so we have to sort again. Okay. <laughs> Since I did that video, I have read it. Okay. Uh, uh. We have choices. Hello, me, my shelf, and I. We've got love list. So Belladonna, I have read, I did not love. Babel, read, loved. I think I'm gonna read Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson. I really wanted to get around to that last year, but I didn't. So, oh my God, we're reading Weight of Blood. We're gonna read The Weight of Blood. The only problem is The Weight of Blood is wrapped up. Now I do have a spreadsheet that tells, so I have little numbers written on all the books I've wrapped up and I have a spreadsheet that tells me what numbers they are. So let me just go find it. It will take me like five minutes. <laughs> so the first book that's been chosen for us is The Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson. So this is a book I really wanted to get around to last year. I put it on loads of like end of year TBRs. I was a few vlogs I almost read it in, but we're finally gonna get round to it. So all I know about this is that it is a Carrie retelling at this prom. It's very much to do with racism. I think we're following a biracial teen and there's this, the school's first like integrated prom. I didn't even know that segregated proms were still a thing or were a thing. Now, here's the thing. Me and Tiffany D. Jackson have not had the best luck in the past, but I love her synopses more than probably like any other author. <laughs> I'm obsessed with her synopses and I just, I just want to love her. So I keep persevering in the hope that I will. Keep saying it. Just keep saying it. Keep saying it out loud. And maybe you will convince hope. So I'm excited for this. I feel like a lot of people have really, really loved this. I've heard pretty much only good things. Maybe like one or two people are not absolutely loving it. But I've heard a lot of good things and I feel good. I feel like me and Tiffany are gonna vibe. So how exciting. That is our first book. Roll number two. Person number eight, which is blue over here in nonfiction. Let's see how many we roll. We've got a four and a four. God, I feel like getting to either of these <laughs> is gonna be awkward in a four. Um, what can I do? Can I go one, two, three, four? Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. That is number 11, which is an ebook or an audiobook. Roll number two was a nonfiction that is an ebook or an audiobook. And for this, <laughs> I don't know if you wanna know what I'm picking. I'm picking Spare by Prince Harry, okay? I need to know. I need, I need to know the drama. Is it me? Am I the drama? I don't think I'm the drama. Maybe I am. I feel like I've basically read this book already with everything being released on Twitter, but hey ho. I don't feel like I need to give my whole opinion on the situation, but like I'm team Meghan and Harry, okay? Listen, I gotta I got represent my home girl, my namesake Meghan. <laughs> I don't know how, I feel like this is a controversial topic. My goodness. I've always been pro them. I've always been rooting for them, you know? And <laughs> I'm gonna get the audiobook of this because I know that Harry narrates it. And I just feel like when a celebrity narrates their own audiobook, their own memoir, like you have to get the audiobook. Like that's the way. Ever since I read Mariah Carey's and she just burst out into song all the time in the middle of it, I learned that's the way to read the book. So I am gonna be reading it this month. I think I've pretty much, I think I may have even pre-ordered the audiobook. I'm excited for the tea and the drama, okay? Harry's gonna give it to me. <laughs> no. I, I mean, I could speak about this for ages. I have opinions, but this video is already quite long. So should we just move it on? And I don't think any of you would like, I don't think many of you would disagree with me, but some of you might. So let's just move it on. <laughs> Row number three, person number one, which is green. Let's see how many we roll. 
We've got a four and a five. So let's just go one, two, three, four, five, which is number 19, which is a book I've hauled recently. Roll number three was a fantasy that I have hauled recently. And this is the round that I gave to my patrons to vote on. So they vote on one round of TBR Clue Day every month. And then that ends up being our book club pick for the month. So the choices I gave them were Unraveler by Frances Harding, which is wrapped up. Wolf Song by TJ Klune. Sea of Tranquility by Emily St. John Mandel. It can be sci-fi as well, the fantasy room. And Poster Girl by Veronica Roth. So I put the poll up. I wasn't really sure what to expect. And it was a tie between these two. And here's the thing, I didn't cast a vote, so technically I could have the deciding vote, but I just feel like in this, this time I don't necessarily have a horse in this race. I don't know which of these two I would vote for. So we're gonna flip a coin. <laughs> okay, Google has a flip a coin thing, so. <laughs> what well, we gotta decide which one's which. Heads for Wolf Song, Tails for Poster Girl. It already, flipped when I opened, when I googled flip a coin, but I'm not counting that because I hadn't decided which was which. Okay, so we're gonna flip. Heads, tails, flip again. It's tails! Okay, Poster Girl by Veronica Roth is gonna be our book club pick. Exciting. I'm relaxed. I'm happy. I'm fearful. You're fearful. Yeah. So, um... So many people since I hauled this in my Christmas video have told me, like, what a surprise five star for them this was. I just know this is about a, like, dystopian surveillance society. I think we're following a girl who was the kind of poster child, but now she was imprisoned, and now she's got been tasked with, like, finding a missing girl or something. It's pretty short. It's, like, only 270 pages, and I've just heard really good things. I've heard really, really good things. So I feel like Veronica Roth is gonna miss Slay. Um... <laughs> I loved Veronica Roth's short story in the Forward Collection, which is a series of like sci-fi novellas that I read. And she wrote one called Ark, which like almost made me cry in th like 20, 30 pages. It's absolutely crazy. So that was what made me want to read this. And listen, I don't read a ton of dystopian, but I feel like Veronica Roth could do it for me. She could like be the vibe, who knows? <laughs> Time for roll number four. Person number one again. Okay, <laughs> let's see how many we roll. We've got a one and a six. Let's just go one and get the rose prompt. Okay, roll four was the rose prompt. I told you we're gonna be doing a lot of the weapons. So if you don't know, the rose prompt is where my patrons, when everyone joins, whatever tier you are, you get to pick two books that I own, either physically or audibly. You get to pick them and tell me that you want me to read them. And when you do, I write them down in this big old tin thing here. So we are just gonna reach in and pick one out and it'll pick what I read. I need to get the spreadsheet up so I can find out who has made me read this, <laughs> who has forced whatever book it is upon me. Okay, there's a lot. This is like kind of overflowing. Let me, I need to show you. <laughs> okay, okay, I've got one. I'm like not, I'm trying not to overthink this. Oh my God, don't fall out. None of you fall out. If it's one I've already read, we just pick another one. This is so nerve wracking. What is that? The Echo Wife. Okay. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting that. Okay, Hillary picked it. Did anyone else pick it? Was it just Hillary? No, Karis picked it. Just the two. So Hillary and Karis are the ones who have influenced me to read this. Okay, where is it? It's down here somewhere. <laughs> this is The Echo Wife by Sarah Gailey. I just know this is a weird book. <laughs> I don't know if I'm prepared for it. Uh, she was perfect. Everything he wanted, she he made her that way. What? <laughs> so I think it's like her husband has made her when she was younger and like got her pregnant and it's like the echo of who she used to be. Oh my God, the drama. Yeah, I've heard this is a weird book, but I have been excited to read it. So who knows? Big Little Lies meets Black Mirror. Interesting. Big Little Lies was in my top 10 of last year. It was like a sleeper hit. <laughs> it's a little surprise. So. Oh, I'm excited. Well, thank you besties for making me read that. How exciting. Wow, it's a nice short one as well. I love a good like short weird book. Or number five, person number six, which is yellow over here. Let's see how many we roll. We have got a five and a one. Can we get to the dagger? How, uh, one and five, one, uh, one, uh, 
One, two, three, four, five. There we go. We got the dagger. Roll number five was the dagger, which I don't think I've ever done this one before either. And it is a random number generator. So I am gonna do, how many books do I have in my TBR right now? I think like a 226. Oh my God, I hope it's not a big number. I will do a random number generator between those and then I will count down on my Goodreads own shelf until we get to a book. How exciting. Let's find a random number generator and screen record that. God, I am, I actually feel sick. This is the last one. This is the last round guys, spoiler alert, of one of the weapons. So, God, it kind of excites me though. It kind of makes me feel alive. This is why I want to do these more. That's not normal. And I think, you know, you should maybe get some help or something. Minimum one, max 227. No, I think I've got 226. Yeah, 226? Yeah, 226. Okay, generate. 48. Oh my God. So it's going to be one I've gotten fairly recently. We have to go to Goodreads. Oh my God, I feel sick. <laughs> okay, my own shelf. Right. It's going to be one... Cause I got like 20 books, I think roughly, or 15, something around that for Christmas. So it will be like, maybe I something I got in the middle of the year. Okay. <laughs> 48, right. We've gotten into a bit of an issue. <laughs> 48 was the daughter of Dr. Moreau, but I have that planned for another video. So if you take the weight of blood out, because I'm already reading that, should we go to Upgrade by Blake? Cr I can't read Doctor Dr. Dr. Moreau. I've got that planned for a special video that's coming out in a couple months. So do we go Upgrade by Blake Crouch or do we do it again? I think maybe we do it again. I think we have to do it again. Generate five. <laughs> I just made that decision so quickly. That's so unlike me. Okay, back up to top. That's gonna be one I got for Christmas. One, two, three, four. Oh, you are kidding me. It's Poster Girl. I've had it. Enough. You know what they- <laughs> The next one we get is gonna be like 200. I'm gonna have to count 200. Generate 77. Okay, right. We know that Daughter of Dr. Moreau is 48, so we can just count from there. 49. 77. Okay, we're reading the cartographers. My God, that was- <laughs> believe we got two books one of which was already in this tbr what the hell okay we're gonna be reading the cartographers by peng shepherd a book of the month pick listen <laughs> i've heard mixed things about this i'm not gonna lie this was one of the book of the month picks so when i got it i was most excited for it but i have heard mixed things i've had some i've heard some wonderful things and i've heard some not so good things so what i know about this is that uh we're following a girl whose father is like a map maker and he's found dead and she thinks that part of what could be happening why he could be dead is something to do with this i think like famous or secret map the schwab is who is pitched as one of the uh the the comp authors so i'm excited to read this i've been really intrigued to see what i think of this for a long time oh my god i'm gonna do this dagger thing more often i love how it i just picked it for me <laughs> So yeah, I've heard it's a bit strange. I've heard it's trying to like, there's more than what meets the eye than with that synopsis that I just gave you, you know? It's gonna do something a bit different. So, oh, I am so excited. Okay, final roll. We have got number one again. Okay, <laughs> let's see how many we roll. We've got a two and a six. So I think we're there. What can I get to with that? How many is one, two, three? Four, five, six. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. That is number two, and that is a series I'm partway through. And then our final role was a fantasy or sci-fi series that I am partway through, and for this I have chosen Only Human by Sylvain Nouvelle. I read the second one of this in a vlog towards the end of last year, and I am just determined to finish off the series, tick off a series in January, great start to the year. This, I, it's really hard to describe this to you without spoiling, so let me keep it, let me keep it shtum, because even the first book you can't tell much about, but uh, this uh, is a sci-fi series. Mm, a hand is found that's very big and seems, I find it so hard to describe. It's very big and is made of these strange materials and perhaps we are finding other body parts of that throughout the world. Bear in mind, that is like the first, like a hundred pages of the first book that I've described to you, but I don't want to tell you where the rest of the series goes goes because I think it's a great surprise. It is mixed media in a way, so it's all interviews or logs that people have recorded and the audiobooks are incredible. They are a full cast and they are acting. Let me tell you, they are acting. 
ting. So I love the audiobook. So I will probably just listen to the audiobook of this and finish the series off this year. I will let you know what I think in my wrap up at the end of the month. But yeah, I'm super excited to tick this series off. It's been one I've been reading for a long time and reading the second one back in December really rejuvenated me wanting to finish the series. So I just want to read this whilst it's still fresh in my brain. So that is my TBR for this month plus spare. <laughs> I'm excited, particularly for the ones that TBR Cluedo picked for me to read. I think that's going to be super exciting. So yeah, let me know what you thought of any of these. If you want to read Poster Girl with me and with the book club, come join my Patreon linked down below. But yeah, let me know what you thought of any of these. Wow, that was a fun start to 2023. I'm super excited to read all of these. I hope you guys have had a great start to the year. Thank you for watching our first TBR Cluedo of the year. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Bye.